makatikim talaga yung mga yawa na yan. I've been telling you all along sa kampanya ko, itong mga customs, itong mga... My God, I hate drugs. Ngayon, tinatanong ko na ngayon kung sino itong mga abogado. I'm going after them. Number one, kung malugi sila, bayaran natin sila. That happened because they were asking for an increase from the regulator. Tapos, it was delayed because it was election time. And you know, during election time, the politicians, with all their hypocrisy, will not want to increase the... Hindi mo kailangan na tabartap na sir ka. Isang basa mo, kalukuhan talaga. You know what? They control the water. They are just distributor. And in that contract, the Philippines surrendered sovereignty by allowing these concessioners to control when there should be an increase. Sila yung may hawak sa poset. Ngayon, tinatanong ko na ngayon kung sino itong mga abogado. I'm going after them. Number one, kung malugi sila, bayaran natin sila. That happened because they were asking for an increase from the regulator. Tapos, it was delayed because it was election time. And you know, during election time, the politicians, with all their hypocrisy, will not want to increase the... So, sila ang nagkukontrol. Nung dumating sa akin na uh, eh, 7, 8, 8 billion, sinabi sa akin gano'n, sabi ko, Bako, bakit ako magbayad? Kaya ko sabi ko, eh, ay talagang nag-explode ako. Bakit ako magbayad? Na in the contract, binasa ko, if they incur losses, bayaran natin sila. If it's the fault of the government that they cannot make money this month, they will sue us or as a penalty, we should pay. Kakutang. Grabe naman ito. And second, yung corporate income tax nila, they were allowed by the contract signed by the government with Manila Gas and Manila two contracts that they can pass it on. Yung corporate income tax nila it shall be answered by the consumers. Wala talaga tayo ang bad. And the contract is uh, 2037. Noong uh, nag-ano sila, nag, uh, yung sila pa, the contract was signed in uh, 1997, tapos uh, it was uh, due to be renewed during glorious time. Ang problema, they were given extension. Wala pa, hindi pa dumating ang 2037. Maghingi na sila ng extension. So many years away, meron na silang extension binigay. Kasi hindi man nila sigurado kung sino ang presidente sunod. So panahon ni Gloria, sigurado sila, naghingi sila ng 
extension. Pangatlo, well, I seem to yung basta yung pangatlo as uh, odious as the first uh, yung mga empleyado nila noon sa Malacanian na uh, uh, gumawa ng contract nandyan ngayon sa kanila Prominent of those is si Almendras. He's now a executive sa Manila Water. Yan ang tapos may isa pa yung nakalimutan ko. Uh, there's another provision that's really something. Pero yan lang, tatlong yan. Uh, if you, you're, some, some of them are lawyers, pag hawakan mo yung anti-graft and corrupt practices that's Republic Act uh, 3019, pag hinawakan mo yan, tapos yung kontrata nila tandi mo all the provisions of the anti-graft law can be found in the contract lahat surrender of sovereignty tapos may isa yun palang isa if you are a Manila resident you'd see in your water bill, meron doon, sabi, environment enhancement. They just, uh, you know, coated it with so It was water treatment. Nagawain sana sa Harrison. That water treatment was sa kasali sa billing yan every day, every collection. So ngayon, ilang trilyon yan? Paano tayo magkaintindihan dito? Kasi nagbayad kami ng water treatment until now, walang water treatment. Is it not that? That is tafah. Or economic sabotage. Either way, no bail yan. Nakita mo sila, tahimik talaga. Puro apology, apology, apology. Ako naman, I can allow the innovation of the contract. As a matter of fact, the Secretary of Justice has his proposal. It's all encompassing, but removing the objectionable uh, uh, things there in the original contract. Pero ang akin nito, buti ang makinig si Pangalinan, pati si Ayala, there is a violation of law. A crime has been committed. You cannot reform that contract you cannot innovate uh, whatever because at right at the beginning it is null and void. Ngayon, magkagulo ito and I hope I did not be forced to assume kasi sabi ko sa kanila Ayusin nila ito. Pag magkaso-kaso sila, magbayad sila ng kaso, diretso na. Bayad sila sa Supreme Court. I will declare a suspension of the writ of habeas corpus and I will arrest all of them. 
I want billionaires inside the prison. Makatikim talaga yung mga yawa na yan. I've been telling you all along sa kampanya ko, itong mga customs, itong mga wala yan. Chipipa yan. Pagdating mo sa taas, billion ang transaction. Yung inquirer, yung mailong, that is a government property. Tapos sila, itong mga may-ari ng donut, doon yung ano nila, uh, parang factory, tapos nalagyan niya, yan yung mga dindahan dyan. They got the money, not their property, but they never, never turned the money to the government. There's not turnover. Yung ano talaga ng yung mga mayaman. Talagang kaya ito would really be It can destroy me. It can create. Mamayaman yan eh. Pero, sabi ko nga sa mga military, and you, if perchance I do not make it to the finish line, huwag din yung bitawan yung kalukuhan ng mga mayaman. You continue fighting them. They are there really to scratch everything from the barrel, but bottom of the barrel.